Hey, I'm going to Reiki class soon, but I wanted to tell you this. I had this, like, amazing dream. It was one of the scariest dreams. Actually, it wasn't, I wasn't scared. This is so weird. I had a dream about Olive last night. We were running through the forest. She was infant toddler. You know what I mean? Like, in one moment, she was... You know, she had like arms and legs, and then in the next moment, like, she, like she, I could have swaddled her. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so we were escaping this woman, and I found her car. We were in like the middle of the forest somewhere, like some forest. There was like a cabin, I think, nearby. Of course, the car keys don't work. Never. If I ever have a car key work in a dream, or a key work in a dream, I've had a breakthrough. Remembering my phone number that day was a big breakthrough. That's like a 30 decade, <laughs> whatever. Or, anyway. So we escaped this woman. We're in the car. This guy, and I know you're not familiar with Game of Thrones, but Imp's dad look alike, doppelganger. It wasn't Imp's dad, but it was somebody who looked like that kind of guy. That's the dad in Game of Thrones. So maybe Google Imp's dad in Game of Thrones. Dysfunctional father. House of Lion. Oh! Something Lannister. Tywin, maybe. I don't know. They all sound the same. Anyway. That look alike digressing because I'm like avoiding this. I look at him and I'm like, you're not going to kill my baby. And he twists her neck. And I don't know if he puts her unconscious or whatever, but I look at him and I go, did you just kill my baby? And then I literally said to him, okay, let's go. And I like do some kind of like, <clears throat> like I feel this rage build. And I just very slowly and sweetly move Olive to the side. And then I jerk one of these guys. This guy has like this like. Like he had come prepared to torture. I had never seen Dexter. But I imagine he carried a bag of tools. It was something like that. He had like. Tools prepared for torture. So, I jerked his pliers off of him, and I pulled him out. I was in the driver's side. He was in the passenger side. I joyously, so here goes some questions on my feelings on nonviolence, but joyously pulled this guy out of the car and, um, I didn't turn into a werewolf, but I, to save graphic detail, I totally werewolfed this guy to death and happily so. And then I got back in the car and I put Olive back in my lap and I just looked at her and she was just like this. Just like, just like so sweet, like a little bird. She really did. I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh, you look like a little sleeping bird. Which is now reminding me of all the little baby dead birds I've been finding. So, message received. I'm working on new dreams, so I guess that was a closure dream. I'm going to have to work through that one, because that one's like really deep. That's not just, hey, yeah, I'm letting go. That's like, that's forces involved.
I'll channel wisely. <clears throat> Anyway, chat later. Yeah, what do you say to this? Anyway, talk to you later. I'm, I have to get ready for Reiki school. Okay, bye.